If every time you want the service engine or check engine light to turn off, you have to pay at a workshop or self-service, I recommend that you stay until the end of this video, since I will be showing four ways on how to turn it off without the need for a scanner. And if you don't believe it, I invite you to stay and watch this video since I will be doing it practically so that you can see the three ways on how to turn it off without the need for a scanner. For people who have not yet subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like and share on your social networks. So friends, let's get to the video. As you may know, the serving engine light or check engine light is one of the most important warning lights on the vehicle since this warning light is related to engine failures, but depending on the year and model of the vehicle, it may also be related to other modules. Among them may be problems with the transmission module or computer, problems with the chassis module or computer, or depending on the manufacturer, any other. But in this case, what we are going to see is how to turn off the light without the need to place a scanner and in a completely safe way. Remember friends, the service engine, as I mentioned, turns on for several reasons. One, for intermittent problems, for current problems, and also for historical codes. For people who want to know why the check engine comes on and how to fix it, I will leave you this label in which you will be able to see the most common reasons why it turns on and how to also solve it. So friends, let's go to the first method. In the case of service engine or check engine, normally it should turn on at the time we place the warning lights or indicators and then turn off when the vehicle starts. This is the normal way which should turn off but when the light. If the check indicator stays on, it is necessary to place a scanner to find out why it turns on. This method is aimed at people who often already know the problem they have, but the check engine light bothers them and they no longer want to pay for every time they have to turn it off. But this video is aimed at people who do not have it. The first method is using half a key cycle, or we call it key cycles. I am going to show you how to do it with the first method. Some vehicles allow the check light to turn on. Engine or service engine can be turned off in this way. In our case, what we must do is place the switch until the warning lights appear and leave it for 5 seconds and then turn the key back for approximately another 5 seconds. We are going to carry out this process 5 times. Since in most vehicles it needs a confirmation to verify that the code is no longer there. An example of this is when we have disconnected the TPS sensor or the airflow sensor. When confirming that the sensor is already connected, it will not turn on the check engine light again. Tell them that this method does not erase the settings that are in the audio, nor what is on the dashboard. Since this is the method that I most recommend because in some cases it has a memory that can be deleted manually. The easiest way to locate what this method is is through the fuse box. Since all computers will always have a fuse or a current or a voltage, whatever you want to call it, to be able to save all the information that it is receiving after disconnecting the ignition line or switch. In this case, the easiest way to locate it is to go to the fuse box and start looking at the name of each of the fuses. In some vehicles, depending on the brand, the fuse may come with several names. One of them may appear as memory, as EFI or as ECU. For people who have doubts regarding this method, you can leave me the year and model of your vehicle in the comments. vehicle and I would be happy to advise you which fuse is in your vehicle. After having located the fuse that we have to remove, what we are going to do is very carefully, we are going to remove that fuse and we are going to wait at least 30 seconds to be able to put it back, since it is enough time for the computer memory becomes completely blank. Let me tell you friend that with this method you are not going to damage anything at all. What I recommend is that you clearly identify which fuse you have to remove since, as I said, all vehicles have this process. This method has been used for many years since previous vehicles that did not have an OBD2 system or a scanner with the features that those of today have, it was necessary to remove a fuse that is always from the computer memory. After having waited about 30 seconds, we are going to replace the fuse and we are going to turn on the vehicle, which in this case as you will see is going to start 
the check engine light is going to go off, but it has not wasted time, verifying that in this way only the computer's code memory will be erased. In this case, friends, the third method that I am going to show you is the one that most people use, and it is simply disconnecting a terminal or battery terminal in order to turn off the warning light. I recommend that you carry out the previous methods before arriving to this process, since if you disconnect the battery from the computer once, any other configuration that you have made will be erased, for example in the stereo, the stations, the clock time, the equalization or any other configuration that you have performed by you on the vehicle dashboard. In this case it is necessary to just disconnect the terminal completely from the battery. My recommendation is to wait at least 5 minutes to reconnect the battery since this is the estimated time that it often takes to completely erase the memory. I leave this method directly under your responsibility. Since in some vehicles there may be a need to recalibrate the throttle body, since many times when the check engine light still does not clear, we do this process since half of the time we let's completely unite what are the terminals disconnected from the battery, since in this way what are the filters which contain the computer are completely discharged, and in this way it completely erases the computer settings. As I told you, the only thing you have to do is place or join the two terminals of the battery with the battery disconnected and make a bridge between them. You can crash it, so to speak, you can connect it, you can leave it for at least 10 seconds, and then remove them again and connect them. This is a method that is used half a time if none of the previous ones work, in this case after having remained for more than 10 or 30 seconds, what are the terminals, so to speak, in short circuit, we are going to disconnect the terminals again, and we will to reconnect what the battery is, tell you about what the decalibration of the throttle body system is, it only affects some of the vehicles that have an electronic throat system. Those that have an IAC system or idle valve would not be affected by this process. And for the people who have watched the video until the end, I thank each of you. I try to improve the videos every day so that each of you has the information and can repair your vehicles and about all for free. So friends, I thank each of you. Remember, for people who have not yet subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to the channel, like it, and share on your social networks. Remember, I am uploading videos on all topics related to regarding vehicles, so friends, until next time.